I Can't Wait by Amy Schwartz. I can't wait. Exclamation point. Waiting. William was waiting on his front stoop. His front, it can be his, there's your steps. I think some houses they call them stoops. Annie was waiting in her backyard. See, here's Annie. Annie with her dog it's in her backyard. And in his house on the corner, Thomas was waiting too. So he's playing with his train while he's waiting. So while you're waiting for something, if you find something else to do, the time goes by faster. And waiting is something that we all need to learn is how to wait. Makes it so much easier when we become adults. William, a girl came skipping by William's front stoop. William, she said, what are you doing? I'm waiting, William said, for something special. Are you waiting for a rabbit? No, William said. Well, goodbye, the girl said and skipped on. A boy ran by, chasing a ball. William, he said, what are you doing? I'm waiting, William said, for something to hug. So he's hunting, waiting for something special and something to hug. Is it a fat, chubby baby with fat, chubby cheeks and fat, chubby hands? No, William said. Oh, the boy said and ran on. So there he is with this glove and his ball. And he's waiting. William's neighbor came by. She put down her groceries. William, she said, what are you doing? I'm waiting, William said, for something that's warm. So something that's special. Let's see what it's calling it here. Something special, something to give a hug, something that's warm. Is it a fire-breathing dragon holding a princess being rescued by a prince on a horse? No, William said. Oh, well, I hope it comes soon. And William's neighbor continued to home. See, there's her bags of groceries. Look, he's eating a carrot. Oh, look. Who do you think this person is right here? The nail man, you're right. He's got the letters in his hand, has some magazines. The mailman arrived with the mail. William, he said, what are you doing? I'm waiting, William said, for something amazing. Is it a hot fudge sundae with peanuts with whipped cream and a cherry on top? No, William said, it's much more amazing. Gracious, the mailman said, and went on his way. A man with a mustache ran up William's steps with a skip and a hop. William, he said, what are you doing? I'm waiting, William said. Oh, the man said, what are you waiting for? Papa, William said, I'm waiting for you. William's papa hugged him, hugged William. I love you, he said. And William hugged his papa. Papa, I love you too. So there's that big warm hug, special, amazing person right there, his papa. Now here's Annie. I'm gonna talk, gonna read all about Annie. In her yard, Annie picked a dandelion. She blew off the fuzz. Have you ever done that in your yard? You have the dandelions, you get to blow it. It's kind of fun. Puppies, she said, I wonder where Eddie is. Is he getting a haircut? Is he eating a pickle? Is he flying an airplane? Is he riding a train? Puppy, where's Eddie? I thought we were friends. Puppy, did Eddie get a new kitten or a bird or a fish? Did Eddie make a new friend? Is she nicer than me? So she's talking to her dog. I like her little heart dress and her striped socks. She tells me they got a hose in the backyard. She has her trike back there, and there's the dog dish and his bone. 
Annie pedaled her bike faster and faster. Where's Eddie? Annie said. Why isn't he here yet? Puppy, she said, I think I know why. It's because I can't say my S's. It's because my ears are so big. It's because I have too many freckles. It's because my hair is so red. So she's trying to find out reasons why her friend Eddie isn't there yet. Annie climbed up her ladder. She slid down the slide. There she goes up. And there she goes down. Puppy, she said, on Tuesday I ate Eddie's great popsicle. Then I ate all of his chips. I broke his new truck and I lost his new ball. That's why Eddie hates me. I'm not the best friend. Wow, she did, she was thinking of all the things she did with Eddie. Maybe Eddie's not there because she did some things. Annie heard a knock. She opened the gate. Annie, Eddie said. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and then I went looking. Are you hiding? Don't you like me? Aren't we best friends? Eddie, Annie said, you've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for you. Annie gave Eddie a hug. Eddie, she said, you're my best friend. Most best, always best friend. So they're waiting for each other. So he went looking and they found each other. How neat is that? And she was very good at her waiting, wasn't she? All right, we're gonna read about Thomas. In a big rocking chair, Thomas rocked with his grandma. So there's the rocking chair. And there's Thomas. Thomas had his this little stuffed animal. There's grandma. And I think that's where he sleeps right there. What do you think? That's his bed. The little birds up here. Our new baby is coming, she said. Thomas, you're such a good helper. Can you help think of a name? Thomas stopped rocking. He started thinking right then. Under the stairs, Thomas played with his cat. Kitty, he said, for the baby. House Fluffy or Muffy or Tiger, or Tabby, or Whiskers, or Snowball, or Spot. So he's trying to think of names for the baby, Grandma. Asking him to think of names for the new baby. See, so look, he's kind of playing with the cow with the yarn. There's the stairs all the way up. Outside, Thomas watered the flowers. Kitty, he said, I like the name Daffodil. I like Violet Petunia. I like Daisy Chrysanthemum. I like Penny Rose. So he's thinking of different names. Look, I like his truck sitting out here he was playing with. Oh, over here is a dinosaur. Oh, look, they're in the kitchen. You can see there's a stove and there's cabinets. He's sitting up on that high step stool. In the kitchen, Grandma gave Thomas a spoon. He took a big lick. Looks like she's doing making something chocolate. Mmm. Makes you hungry. I like Grandma's apron. Grandma, Thomas said, that's, let's name our baby Penelope, or Penelope Veronica, or Penelope Isabel, or Penelope Annabelle, or Penelope Clarabelle. Our Penelope Annie. So look, he's got the spoon. Keeps saying names. Keeps licking all the chocolate. Thomas waited with Grandma. They waited and waited and waited some more. So he's doing very good at learning how to wait. They, so while they were waiting, they found things to do. They weeded the flowers. So they went outside with Grandma to take all the weeds out of the flowers. They folded the laundry. They did the laundry and folded it up in the basket. They gave Kitty her milk. So they found while you're waiting, if you find things to do, it makes the waiting easier. Then the door opened. Thomas' parents were home. So there's the mom and the dad. What's the mommy carrying, do you think? 
stunning baby. With this, with his new baby brother, and they named, they all named him. They named him John. And there it's a baby brother. William, Annie, and Thomas. Papa pulled William to the park in his wagon. Annie and Eddie pedaled to the park and giggled and laughing. Thomas skipped to the park chatting with Grandma. So all the people that were waiting for different things. Remember, he's waiting for his daddy. She was waiting for Eddie. And he's waiting for the new baby. And Mom and Daddy are home with the baby, and he's going to the park with Grandma. Hi, William. Hi, Annie. Hi, Thomas. Meet my papa, William, said. I was waiting for him. Meet Eddie, Annie said. He's my best friend. I was waiting for him. I have a new baby brother, Thomas said. You'll meet him soon. I was waiting for him. Then the friends played together until it was time to go home. They all lived in the na same neighborhood and went to the same park, waiting for different things. Goodbye, William said. Goodbye, Eddie said. Goodbye, Annie said. Good goodbye, Thomas said. Let's play again tomorrow. Yes, William said. I can't wait. All oh, did a very good job waiting for different things. Love the book. Look on this picture. They have their names on their houses. There's Annie's house. You can just see part of Eddie's house. There's William's house. And there's Thomas' house. That's pretty neat. And then there's the park right in the middle. Love it. And for more books and resources, just go to homeschoolforlife.org. Thank you.